Hey everyone, I hope you are doing well and that you have a wonderful last week of October. I cannot believe we are starting November on Monday. That is crazy to me. So I thought I would go ahead and start sharing some gift videos and gift ideas. I do have a playlist from last year that you can check out down below in case you are wanting more ideas and just need some inspiration for your holiday shopping. So I personally like knowing what people are purchasing for other people. I feel like the more you purchase for someone, the harder it gets <laughs> because you tend to use all your good ideas in the beginning. So hopefully I can share some ideas with you this year and give you some inspiration when it comes to giving gifts. So like I said, I will leave all of last year's down below as well as my blog posts that go over anything gift related. So I have some posts on budgeting, on how I purchase gifts for people in our family and how, kind of how I organize that and break it down and then anything else along those lines. I will also link any product I can that I mention. There's some that I can't link. However, if I can, I will definitely link that as well. So any addi additional information you can check out in the description box. And today I thought I would kick us off by sharing what we are gifting other toddlers. So our son is three. He will be four at the end of December. And every year we have usually about like five-ish kids that we like to give gifts to. So I have um, ages from about one and a half to four. So definitely in that toddler phase and season if you are trying to gift to other kids. And they are kind of um, lower price points. I personally don't like to spend a ton on kids. Number one, I feel like they change what they're into all the time. Number two, they go through toys like crazy and they're also going to be getting a lot of toys. So I don't want to be gifting them something that they're not really going to use. Um, and then number three, they're kids. So, you know, they really don't need a lot but I really do feel like it's the thought that counts and you really can do some creative things and gift things that they definitely will use. So that's what I wanted to share today. So I do, I will share who the gift is for and their age and then also some additional ideas that I've done in the past or that you can do if you are giving gifts to kids. So in no particular order, the first gift I wanted to share, so these are for four-year-olds. So very similar to my son. They're a little bit older than my son. Two of my college girlfriends, they have children who are about six months older than my son. And I do give them gifts every year from my son. So this year, I am gifting them a Kinetic Sand Kit. This was only $10 at Kohl's, so really reasonable. If you have never used Kinetic Sand, it is awesome. It is definitely messy, but my son loves it. Also, when our neighbor comes over, they love doing this together. It's just really um, good for sensory. It's something different than Play-Doh. It's kind of crafty. So it's, it's different than a toy and is definitely used by kids. I will say though, if you are gifting or receiving something like this, doing it outside will be a lifesaver because it is extremely messy but it is worth it. So I'm gifting them each a kit along with a bag of sand. And then these are actually scented. So my son thinks these are awesome, but this was $5 at Kohl's. So basically a $15 gift, give or take, definitely under $20. And then with each of them, I'm gifting a little frozen um, grab and go that you can use in the car or just a little activity. These are in the dollar spot at Target and they have tons of different ones. I also have a Paw Patrol one for my son I'm putting in his stocking, but just something like this, kids love, it's easy and you're not gonna break the bank. So their gifts, like I said, are under $20 and it's something that, like I said, it's not a toy, it's hands-on, it's something that they can use. Even if they have it, it's still fun. My son has kinetic sand, but getting more kinetic sand, he loves. It's kind of like Play-Doh or anything along those lines. So this is what I am gifting both of them. So I have two of them that are getting the exact same thing. And then they're also getting an ornament, um, which is something that I do every year for anyone I'm gifting to. I will actually be making an Instagram, um, IGTV on kind of what I do for ornaments and how I go about that, but I do give an ornament for every person every year. So those are the first gifts, like I said, for four-year-olds. 
Then both of the four-year-olds also have a sibling. One of them just turned one and then one of them is a newborn. So I am doing the same thing for both of them um, since my son isn't the one who is friends with them. And then obviously we just had our son. So I do like to do something, but just maybe a little bit smaller. So this year for both of the siblings, I am doing a bath book and it comes with bath toys. So if you have never gotten a bath book, I kid you not, they're such a great gift to give kids. I don't know why reading in the tub kids love, but our son loves bath books. Ha also having the characters that go along with the book, game changer. It's just something different. It's something that they'll actually use and just something that's just not your average toy. So these are the Melissa and Doug. They have different ones. They have ones with ducks, with trucks, um, with the penguins, and maybe I want to say two other ones. But it, I am obsessed with all Melissa and Doug. I love their stuff. So this is a really great, easy gift. I want to say this was around $8. And then for both of them, I just did an initial ornament. So I had the initial ornament for them, super easy. So for the two kids, so the one family, I am I maybe spent like $22 each, which is very reasonable in my opinion and a good price point. So that is what I am doing for um, both of my friends, their two kids this year. Then for, I'll go ahead and do my son's, um, basically his best friend, it's our neighbor. They are in the same class. They basically hang out almost every single day. So for her, I wanted to do um, something a little bit more since he's with her all the time than the kinetic sand and all of that. She is my son's age, so she is three. She will be four in the spring. So he picked out what he wanted to gift her and we went ahead and got the Melissa and Doug, the doctor set. The reason we did this is when they play at our house, we have the Melissa and Doug, the vet set. They are obsessed with it. They love playing doctor. They love checking on each other. They like taking turns. So I thought it'd be really fun to do the doctor set because it is something that they always play. And then obviously it's different than the vet set that we have here. Another um, thing that you could do if you do something like this, if you wanna add on, I wanna say this was, so this was $30. So if you kinda wanna bulk up the price, they have dress up costumes that go along with the different sets. So Melissa and Doug has like a doctor um, costume or you can do a veterinarian costume, which would be really, really sweet to add on to something like this. But these are awesome. And once again, it's not really a toy toy. It's more like, uh, in my mind, like a dress up item. So it's just something different and something fun. So she's going to be getting this and then a couple additional things for her. She's gonna get a Water Wow, a Paw Patrol. They love Paw Patrol. And these are great because you can buy them in sets and then you can disperse them. So this came in a set of four and I'm just gonna disperse them between her, my son, my other son, and then I think I already gave him one for something else, but I love water wows. I've talked about these multiple times. We take them on every car trip and it's just something really awesome for young kids. And then if you can find something that they're into, that's just the cherry on top. So she's getting um, a Paw Patrol water wow and then another little grab and go from the dollar section at Target. Like I said, they're really into Paw Patrol. They love it. So that's gonna be with her gift. And then the only other thing for her is I got her a little book. They have these little books at Barnes and Noble with names. And if you can find one um, for the person you're gifting to, I just feel like that's a really sweet gesture to get a personalized book. And it's a lot easier than ordering it online. So they're about $8 at Barnes and Noble. So she is getting a personalized book since I was able to find it. And that's just easy to throw in. They're about $7 and like I said, Barnes and Nobles has a really good selection, or you can always do the personalized books. Um, I think Wonderly, I've done those books before. They are great. And I know there's tons of other sites that you can do. But for me, if I can find it and not have to special order it, I'm all about that. <laughs> so she is getting that. And then her ornament is a pencil. They're in the same class. So I'm just gonna write the name of their class and the year, and then that's gonna be the ornament that's on her gift. So like I said, that's for our neighbor and she is also three. So for someone around that age, then 
for my niece, she is now, so going back a little bit age-wise, she is a year and a half. So her birthday is beginning of May. So for her gift, I didn't do too much because my brother and them are going to have to fly in for Christmas. So I kind of had to think of items that they could travel back with that's not gonna be extensive for them to pack in their suitcase. So I did wanna, of course, give her a few things to open on Christmas. So what I chose to do is I chose to do one of these learning charts. Basically on one side, it has all the letters and then you, you touch the letters, it does the letter name, the letter sound, um, it does numbers, body parts, clothes, animals. So the back has another side, but it's just a really great learning activity and tool for kids to have. I, If you know me personally, you know that I was a first grade teacher before I decided to stay home with our kids. So anything like this, I am all about. And once again, it's not a toy that they're just gonna use for like a week or two and then be done with. It's something that, that they can use, that the parents can use, and that's a little bit more purposeful. Also, I thought that they could take it out of the box and then just put it flat in the suitcase, which is great. So she is getting this, and then she is getting a polka dot book. I love these. I think these are such a unique gift. Once again, these are a Melissa and Doug product, but basically there's tons of different stories where they practice counting and one-to-one -one matching. So one-to-one -one matching is just kids recognizing that each number um, is one separate number. So some kids, if you notice when they count, they'll kind of go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and kind of run their finger and not recognize this is one, this is two. This is three. So this kind of helps if they're counting one, two, three, four, five, and then it makes the popping sound with each page. So we have the old McDonald one and I thought I would get her a different one. This is a who's in the ocean, but I love these books. They're about 10 bucks, really reasonable and just a different and unique gift. So she's going to be getting that. And then she's also going to be getting the same bath set that I got the other two girls for my friends. My brother said she's just really into books right now. And this is just fun. They can, of course, take it out of the packaging, pop it in their suitcase and be good to go. So she's going to be getting that. Oh, and then she will be getting a couple clothing items. So I picked her up this outfit at Target. Um, once again, easy to throw in the bag. I picked her up some jammies that are gonna match the boys so that they can all be matching jammies. These are, once again, Target, the Cat and Jack brand. So soft, I absolutely love them. A little personalized book that I found at Barnes & Noble. Of course, she gets an ornament. My son picked out the one he wanted to give her. And then the remainder of her gifts, since they are flying and traveling, I'm just gonna give her money towards her college account. So that's also a really great idea. If you know parents have accounts set up for their kids, me personally, I love when people contribute to those accounts. Um, that's something kind of we've been doing for our son, our older son since he's been born with his birthday. Since his birthday's right after Christmas, I've always done in place of gifts to um, consider contributions to his account. Just because he gets so many toys and material things during Christmas time, it's just something really practical that I can ask for people if they want to gift him something for his birthday. So she will also be receiving that. Then I have two more that we are gifting for this year. So the next one is our nephew who will be born in January. So he, of course, he's not even, he's not even a toddler yet. He's not a baby, but we did want to do something for him since he is going to be part of the family. So I just picked up a sensory book. These pretty books are awesome if you have never seen them before and these are different because every page is a different um, texture so while you're reading your baby can feel the different textures um, and it's just definitely more a hands-on book so I picked this up at Target it was $13 and then my sister-in-law had this on her um, wish list of just the little ink pads for the footprint and handprint so we're gonna put that along with his present and then just a little initial that they can put on the tree next year. So that will be his. And then the last gift we are gifting is my son's best friend has a younger sibling and he is also around a year and a half, kind of that age range. And so we are going to gift him this Duplo um, Lego set. My son 
loved these when he was this age. I wanna say right at a year and a half, two years old, he absolutely loved these. We have a huge container of the Duplo Legos before he transitioned to the smaller Legos. But these, once again, they're a toy, but in my mind, it's more, just like with the kinetic sand, it's more hands-on. It's something they're building, they're doing. They can tear it down, they can build it again. It's not just like a one-time toy that they're playing with. So something like this is awesome. These sets are about $20. You can get larger sets or you can get smaller sets. So you can really tailor it to the price point that you're wanting. But we are doing this for him. And then once again, I'm just throwing in another one of these packs that are a dollar. So these are really great. I try to get things before they get picked over because I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like the kid stuff gets picked over really fast. So I like to get what I am thinking of or what I'm throwing in just so I'm not kind of getting what's left. But that is who we are gifting for this year when it comes to kiddos. Um, hopefully this was helpful or kind of gave you some ideas on what to do. Like I said, I will leave whatever I can down below and then I will be sharing this year what I am gifting our toddler, our baby, my husband, what we are doing for our stockings. And then I'll also be sharing what we are doing for our advent calendar. So if you are interested in that, I would love for you to, su to subscribe or connect below. I have everything listed, our Instagram and Facebook and all of that. But thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.